Hello, good morning and welcome back to our live show. My name is Vishal Manocha, owner and director at Networth Immigration Solutions. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. We have offices based in Brampton, Ontario, Calgary in Alberta, and we have two locations back home in India, in Kannal and Kushetra. This is our live show, which happens every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and in India, 8.30 p.m. But just to let you know, so next Friday, the time will be changing because Canada will be turning its clock. And now we will be doing the same show, Canada time, Eastern Standard Time will still remain the same 11 a.m. But in India, it will be 9.30 p.m. starting from next Friday. So make sure you are aware of it and you know that the timing will be changing for the winters because the winters are coming and as soon the winter comes, we do change the clock in November, the first Sunday of November. So by next Friday, the show timing in India will be 8.30 as, com sorry, 9.30 as compared to 8.30 as of now. So make sure you are aware of it and you know at what time we will be live next Friday. So we will be discussing about this live show is always about discussing new updates from immigration in the last one week. And then we do also get time for you to ask your question and for me to answer them. Kindly post whatever question you have, whatever doubts you have. If you have anything in your mind regarding immigration, kindly post it into the comment section and I'll be very, very happy to answer them for you right away. So we will be talking a lot about the new immigration plan which has been announced for the next three years. So our major topic of discussion in this session will be what is coming up for in the next three years for Canadian immigration. There has been tremendous amount like of numbers been announced. It's going to be around half a million people coming just alone in 2025. Around 1.45 million will people will be coming in Canada by the next year, 2000 and uh, by in the next three years. So that's how if this is going to be. A number is going to be 1.45 million people will be immigrating to Canada in the next three years. The numbers will be increasing every year. To start of 2023, we are expecting 465,000 people will be invited to enter Canada under a different stream. We will also be discussing about what those streams are and how many people will be entered under each stream. Then in 2024, the number will increase to 485,000 people will be invited in 2024 and by sorry by 23 and in 2024 the number will go to half a million that is 500,000 people are expected to be invited by that time so the total is coming to will be coming to around 1.45 million people will be entering Canada on a permanent residency or different program uh, and will be contributing towards the Canadian economy there have been a lot of discussion about how Canadian uh, like how immigrant immigration helped Canada boost their economy. They need the Canada is always sort of skilled people, so they are inviting people to different programs so they can come here, get settled in Canada, and give the Canadian economy the boost they need, the people they need, the talent they need in them for them to move forward uh, globally. So we will be discussing more in detail now what will how these numbers are divided. What sort of people will be invited during the three years and what are your chances of coming to Canada? So the major number will be coming from the uh, from the economic class which contributes to express entry and provincial nominee program. So the major contribution in the next three years will be through these two three streams. One is going to be express entry which is the most popular one and the second one most popular economic program is provincial nominee program. So that is how it is going to be and definitely as I said, it, the number is going to be increasing every year. So starting from 2022-23, the number of people we are expecting to come through express entry uh, will be landing will be around 82,000 in 2023. By 2024, the number will go to around more than 100, 100 approximately 110,000 and by 2025, it is going to be around 114,000 people expected to come under this program by 2025. And then PNP will be the most number they will be targeting will be through PNP basically. Other than the economic class, PNP is the most important, the most major program 
which contributes towards Canadian immigration. But the numbers for them have also been announced. So we are expecting around 105,000 people coming through that program just alone in 2023. By 2024, it will go to 110,000. And by 2025, it will be 117,000 approximately people coming to provincial normal program. I don't know how many of you are aware, other than the Expo Century, Provincial Normal Program is the most popular stream through which you can come to Canada. Mostly all the provinces across Canada have their own Provincial Normal Program where they invite people according to the skill shortage, according to the people they need, they invite people, uh, they invite people accordingly. So that will be a major program to look at for you. So you have to make sure you're not just looking at Expo Century because if you compare the numbers are higher and it seems to be that more people will be invited through PNP as compared to Express Entry Economic Class. So make sure you are, you are aware of what exactly PNPs are and which PNP you may, can, may qualify to make sure you are aware of that. Then the good news is also for parents and grandparents admissions. Even that number will be increasing in the next three years. We have never seen that number being invited in the Canadian immigration history for the next three years, even the parents, grandparents program numbers are going high. By 2023, they're expecting around 28,500 people will be invited, followed by 34,000 people in 2024 20, uh, and 36,000 people by 2025. So that you can see parents and grandparents, they are not just, Canada is not just asking people to be here they want even the family to reunite it so even they are they will be focusing on parents and grandparents program inviting them so that they can reunite with the family members who are here and definitely contribute again to the Canadian economy so you can see that this is how the number is going to be rising the, uh, the another thing is the number will be reduced in refugee and humanitarian class target to decline so in the next three years, Canada will not be targeting too much of refugees, so definitely not a good news for them. But because Canada need more of skilled people in the country, they need more of, uh, they need skilled people to be in Canada, so then only chance of them getting them is to get more economic class people in, into country rather than the refugees and humanitarian ground. So that target will be declining for the next three years. So that's how the number will be uh, you have seen the num that's how the number looks like for the next three years. So the most pro popular program with, with the numbers that we talked about is going to be provincial omni program, followed by the economic class, which is again is a part, even PNP is also a part of the uh, economic class. So under economic class, we can say the two major programs which people will be coming will be express entry and provincial omni program, followed by parents and grandparents program. So these will be the three major streams through which people will be invited in the next three years and the target for the next three years I'll repeat is again 1.45 million and by 2024 around half a million will be invited to uh, will be lending in Canada so that's how it's going to be you have to uh, you have to make sure that you are aware of this rule and you know that's how it's going to work and you should follow them it's that's how it, it is uh, uh, because the number seems to be very promising for the next three years and it is very very important for you to know that how you can qualify and how you can come to Canada you should be aware of it then only you will be able to target it up for yourself but economic class seems to be the uh, most popular stream coming for the next three years and these numbers just make sure doesn't count uh, international students, foreign workers, they are not a part of this number. These are the people Canada is planning to target to come here as a permanent resident in Canada. So the number seems to be very high and it seems to be promising and hope it's going to work out for most of the people who are looking and planning to come to Canada. So this was one of the most important topic of the day today. The number being announced, the immigration will plan for the next three years. Never we have seen these many numbers of people being, in, will being, invite, uh, being invited. So definitely you are, have a very good chance of coming and migrating to Canada if you are somebody looking to come and settle here. But you need to be aware of the rules. You should be aware of the PNP programs. 
a different way you can qualify for PR so that you know how exactly uh, you have to come here and do it. So other than that, the most important news we have for today is that there, will be, there were two PNP draws in the last one week. There was no express entry draw for this week because there was a draw previously last Wednesday where the number of people invited were around 4,750 uh, 4, and the CRS score dropped down to 496. The next week we are expecting another express entry draw because it has been regularly happening every fortnight after every 15 days. So next Wednesday you can expect a draw coming to around 492 or 491. And you can see the number of invitation may go high up to as 5,000. Because if you look at the previous trend, every time the score is dropping and the invitations are being increased. So looking at the previous trend, it seems 491, 492 seems to be on the card and number of invitations going as high as 5,000. So people who are planning to come to Canada to express entry uh, and they are not scoring too high, they're not scoring 480 or 490, definitely it is concerning for them. But people who are scoring somewhere around 480, 485, 475, they need to be patient. I'm pretty sure in the next two months, the score will drop down to around 475, 480. And uh, you may have a chance to be invited and come to Canada on a PR. So, but uh, that is only, only uh, possible if you are... Uh, if you are aware of how the things are working and how you can move forward from there. So the numbers uh, will be going high every year. So you have to make sure that you are aware of those things. Then uh, the, we were talking about the two PNP draws, which were which were uh, held in the last two weeks. One was the Ontario, one was from the Ontario, which was the master's stream draw. It's a very specific draw where they invite people who have done masters from a university in Ontario who have been residing in Ontario for at least one year uh, from the last in the last two years to be eligible under this program and have done a master's from one or the other universities in Ontario. The number of invitations sent through this stream was 106 and the minimum cutoff for that was 35. So all you need to do to qualify for this program is if you are a graduate back home and if you come to Ontario for a master's program, this is one of very good opportunity you have to qualify under this stream. But you have to do a master's degree, not a postgraduate diploma. It has to be a one year or a two year, whatever you get. Uh, it has to be a master's degree. If you have a master's degree, then you can qualify for this program. And the other draw which we held was from Prince Edward Island. Uh, they are not taking uh, very frequently. They are not having their draws. But uh, this time they had the draw where they invited around 204 people in total were invited. Out of that. 194 were invited under labor class and express entry class and 10 people were invited under their entrepreneur business work permit entrepreneur stream so 10 people were invited now that's the total number of people invited to this draw was 204 the business work permit entrepreneur stream is for the people who want to come and start up their business in canada they can migrate through the stream they can come here PR. usually initially they get a two years work permit uh, then they have a they are given a time frame to set up their business, do an investment in the next two years. If you are able to do this investment and show it to the province that you have fulfilled your commitments and your business plans and goals, then you will be further invited to apply for permanent residency. So that's how the business work permit stream works. The express entry labor class is definitely they invite people through people who are through express entry, but to qualify under Prince Edward Island PNP program, you need to have a separate profile under the Express Entry uh, portal, uh, sorry, under the PEI portal, Express Entry, you need to submit your expression of interest, then only you will be invited for this draw. So the only way, and this is mostly in happening in most of the provinces, that you need to have, uh, you have to be invited, to, to be invited, you need to create your profile under their pool. So that was the second major news of the day about the PNP. So let me take a couple of questions we have and we will be moving forward again for the admissions opening up for May 2023 for onshore and on onshore both admissions. And we will be also talking about how the draw in 2024-23 looks like because the immigration minister Sen Fraser has announced on 3rd of November that they will be targeting skilled people starting from 2023. We will be talking more about it once I've taken up the questions. 
So thank you all the viewers who have joined us. If you have any question, kindly post it into the comment section and we will be happy to help you. So I'm going to start from uh, guys interested. Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm good. If you have any question, kindly ask. Then Mohit is there. Can one go on tourist visa and get that converted into work permit? How will this be done, sir? Okay. Mohit, this is a, I know this is a very common question being asked on our live shows and I've been answering them you know, always. So the be yes, definitely there are options like uh, people who are, who are visiting in Canada, they can even convert the visitor visa into work permit. But saying so, there's also a misconception in people's mind that that is only possible if you are on a visitor visa in Canada. That is not the case. If you want to come and work in Canada, it's not mandatory to have a visitor visa first. You can even come and work in Canada directly from your home country. You can apply for a work permit. Definitely, you need an employer, you need a job offer from an employer to hire you. If they are ready to hire you, they are going to apply for an LMI application, we call it here. Once the LMI application is approved, uh, then you apply for a work permit and for that, you don't need a visitor visa. So yes, visitor visa can also be converted into a work permit, but just for the knowledge and information of all our clients and viewers, that get a work permit you don't have to be physically first be in Canada on a visitor visa then into can be converted you have both the options available uh, that getting it from India or can or like from back home from your country or from your while you are in Canada on a visitor visa you can be uh, eligible for that so I hope that clears but you need a job offer Mohit then only uh, and then an employer need to apply for an LMI once that happens then only you will be able to get a work permit then we were Bhavneet Kaur asking question, I am about to complete my studies in Canada, so how do I apply for a work permit? What are the requirements and procedure? Okay Bhavneet, I think definitely you're talking about a post-graduation work permit. Uh, applying for a post-graduation work permit, basically you need a transcript and a completion letter from your institution, so make sure both the things are required to file a post-graduation work permit. Uh, and you should have an official transcript and official letter stating that you have completed a diploma or an actual diploma been awarded to you, a copy of that. You need those documents to apply for a post-graduation work permit and now it will depend on the length of your program that how, what will be the duration of the post-graduation work permit you are applying for. It depends on the length of the program. If your program length is one year, you get a one year work permit, but if your program length is up two years then you will end up getting three years of work permit if you need more if you want our assistant Bhavni definitely you can contact us and we will be happy to help you and provide you with that information so I hope that Bhavni answered the question but again if you have any question you can ask us and we will be happy to help you okay then we have another question from Joy my sister have a post caption work permit which will be expiring in May so can she extend it okay now, post-graduation work permit itself cannot be extended. You only get a post-graduation work permit once in your life. Until now, there are a few exceptions which we have recently seen in the COVID time where the public policy has been specifically announced to get a post-graduation work permit extended. But other than that, if you talk about uh, normal circumstances, a post-graduation work permit cannot be extended further. You only get post-graduation work permit once in your lifetime. And as I said, until unless you don't have it, then uh, do, if there's no public policy now, you cannot apply for a post-graduation work permit. But yes, now if you're, uh, I think you were asking about your sister, yeah. So, but if your sister has been offered a job, for example, she's working somewhere and office, uh, the employer is ready to hire her permanently and they're ready to file an LMI application for them, then <clears throat> the work permit can be extended, but it will become a closed work permit like post-graduation work permit is an open work permit where you're allowed to work with any employer anywhere in Canada but under that LMI work permit if she gets an LMI and we apply for a work permit that get approved it will become a closed work permit and then your sister will only be able to work uh, for that employer but the another good thing is if you have been hired under LMI you also get 50 points for your PR under Express Entry Stream that's an extra benefit you get if is that the situation if you need to know more information or if you want us to help you out to let us know how those things work contact our office through email through whatsapp whatever the best way you think and we will be happy to help you with that okay i hope that answers your question then we have another question from suk uh, sorry mm. 
no, sorry. Uh, okay. Is com telecommunication technician a skilled job and can we apply PR with one year experience of this job without West? Okay. So now West has nothing to do with your experience, that's the first of all. Uh, West is uh, done for the ECA, is basically we call it ed educational credential evaluation, which is done through a company called West, which evaluates your education equivalency to the Canadian education equivalency. So that is a different thing and you can definitely qualify without this For example. Uh, the Ontario skilled trade class three, their draws are under which they are inviting people. The number is very less For example in September. There were no draw in October though, but in September there were two draws under Ontario skilled trade class and this telecommunication technicians are a part of that uh, stream. So if the draw number is less, then for example, you're grade 12 and you have done, you have not done a graduation, you don't need a vest for that. You can still create a profile with your plus two score and you can skip the vest part, but it will depend on what will be the draw score when they invite the people. So it's always definitely better to have a draw uh, a vest to be done because that is one of the requirement also to be in the express entry, especially if you want to claim point for your ed education like graduation. But if you don't want to claim a point, you just want to be in the pool with your grade 12 diploma, then you don't need a vest. So your one year experience will qualify you under Ontario skill trade class stream and through that stream, then you can apply for your PNP and PR. Then we have a question from Priya. I hope that I'll answer your question, but if you have any further question, uh, so you can definitely get back to us. Priya has a question for us. Alpha College open for onshore admission. Okay, Priya, that's a good question. Which, yes, we were. We are supposed to discuss today about the admission, college admission. So let me take it up here now. So, uh, no, the answer is no. Onshore applications are not open as of now. Offshore admission for St. Lawrence College Alpha for May 2023 is already open. One year and two year both program, PG and undergraduate both programs are available. So yes, you can. You are. Uh, you can do that. So you can apply for an offshore right now. Onshore, we are expecting Priya to be open in January or February next year, 2023 for May. I don't think they will be opening up onshore admission before February 2023. So you have to wait if you are an onshore student. But if you are looking to apply for uh, May 2023 one year program and you are in Canada, make sure sure you are enrolled right now with us. <clears throat> Puncho, uh, May is a very small intake and people who want to start a May intake, especially for one year program, even for two years, you need to be very quick looking for the options because there are very few options available. Uh, there is, you always, uh, so you have to make sure that you are on top of it. And if you're looking and you don't want any gaps uh, in your education, make sure you are registered with us right now, right away for May 2023. Even Canada is going to open up for May uh, very soon. So if you want to study in Canada for one year for May 2022, you should be in doing with us now. Even Alpha will be opening up for May 2023. So hopefully uh, we will be looking forward for that too. Now we have a, a question from Anish Kumar. I have a question about the Alberta Accelerated Tech Pathway. I'm living in New Brunswick now, but my company is in Calgary. Do I need to move to Calgary to apply for the thank you? Yes, you have to look and move to Alberta because when you, whenever you apply for a provincial nominee program, basically, uh, basically they want you to be uh, in in the province uh, so that you can apply for your PNP and PA, and they are expecting you to stay in that province. That's the whole idea of inviting you and nominating you through provincial nominee program. They they want a, a person uh, with your sort of uh, skill set to be in their province and contribute to the province economy. So definitely they want you uh, to be in that province. Expect that is what they expect from you. Then we have a question from Nukul. What uh, are the difference options available to migrate to Canada? I have searched about PNP versus XPN. Which one is better? Okay, Nukul. So it depends from client to client profile. For somebody, express entry could be better than PNP. For someone, provincial army program will be better than express entry. You all, we already know that the uh, CRS right now is around 496. So the only way you qualify under express entry is if you are somewhere close to that point. Even with 480, 475, you still have a chance in the next two, three months. But if you are scoring example 400, 420, 410, 
then the chances may be you may not be invited through your express entry draw, but you have a chance in the provincial nominee program, but that will now depend on what is your education level, in what stream you have done your education, what is your experience and what field your experience is in, and if your occupation is in demand in one or the other province. That is the only way, that is the only way you can uh, come through PNP also. So it depends on profile to profile, both of them are better. And as I've discussed in the beginning of the show, in the next three years, these will be the two major programs through which people will be invited. One will be the Express Entry and Economic Class and Provincial Nominee Program, the second pro, uh, will be the second thing through which they will be inviting the people in Canada. So they both are very popular and the most common stream to come to Canada. So it will depend on what exactly your profile and then uh, we can let you know if you want to discuss further, you can contact us and we'll be happy to answer. Then we have a question for Hamal sir, I'm from India and two days back received visitor visa. Can you help me to convert to a work permit with job offer as per my profile? Hamal, basically once you have a visitor visa, you can definitely come and visit Canada, but uh, to get it converted into work permit, there are province, uh, there are options available, but you need to find an employer who is ready to offer you a job. That is the most important thing from a visitor visa to be converted into a work permit. You need to have the job offer from the employer. You can start already looking for the job through the job banks or through other companies and see if somebody has posted a job according to your profile. If that is matching your profile, you can apply them for a job and let them know that you're visitor visa and you're traveling. And if they select you and if they hire you, they will be definitely first need to apply an LMI application for, uh, for you. And once the LMI application is done, you will be applying for your work permit. So now that can be done even while from your back home or while you are in Canada on a visitor visa. In both the ways, it is possible to do. Then you have Sukhvinda say, thank you so much. You always give exact answer. Thank you, Sani, for following us and uh, uh, coming on this show and asking your question. We encourage all our clients and viewers who are watching this show to kindly post your question into the comment section. This show is all about giving you an update and giving you a right answer immediately at the or on our live show. So if you have any further question, we are still available uh, for another 10 minutes before this show uh, ends the show. If you have any question, kindly post it into the comment section and we will be happy to answer you. And thank you Priya, thanks for asking the question. Admissions will be opening up for on show for May for Alpha sometime in February. Okay, now coming to the announcement which was previously done in the beginning of this year, uh, the Immigration Minister, Mr. St. Fraser, has announced that um, starting from 2023, they will be targeting, uh, the Express Entry draw will become more specific, more targeted. Like right now, people are invited, say example, 496. Now anybody with any, uh, edu uh, like with, education level in any stream uh, with any sort of experience as far as they are scoring 496 or whatever it was the CRS were invited. But starting from 2023 there will be more skill specific draws which which if we read we have seen that it's uh, uh, they will be doing more of the they may be inviting more of the healthcare workers the doctors and maybe engineers you never know it's, it's going to start up in 2023 but as per the announcement we made, right now they will be targeting definitely more of skill people. Whatever province has a shortage of skills, maybe province have their own skills shortage, uh, invite, pinch in, but express entry itself will be conducting their skill shortage draw, specific skills draw basically starting from 2023. It will be interesting to see what will be the score for CRS score for those draw. I'm pretty sure it will drop down. Because not everybody with that skill set will have a definite score like that. So, but I, I'm all I'm very confident that yes, something good will be happening and starting in 2023. For maybe few people in few streams, we will have to wait and watch what sort of people and what sort of specific draw will be people will be invited. But it will be happening and starting in 2023, which is just around the corner. We are all we are in November, so hardly one and a half months left for this year. And then we will be having uh, definitely January 2023. We will be having uh, another thing coming up, which is January 2023. The more specific draws will be invited. Okay, uh, I have a question here from Bipin. So, hi Vishal, any hope for ONP federal skill? Uh, is it are you asking about federal skill trade draw or federal skill worker draw? Uh, if you be, can just clarify what exactly draw we're discussing here, and definitely I'll be able to answer that question. 
so we have uh, we have covered today a lot about uh, the new immigration plan for the next three years i've already discussed what sort of people under what stream they'll be invited in the next three years but the number seems to be very promising 1.45 billion people coming in the next three years and that to the one year maybe by 2024 you'll be seeing around half a million people coming in the country through that program which will have different programs through which you can qualify and come and settle down in Canada. There were two draws which we have discussed today with the, from the pro, uh, province. One was from the Ontario, which was for the master stream, and another was for, for the uh, Prince Edward Island. Then we have discussed about the uh, the specific draws which will be starting from June, June th th sorry, January 2023. Then the most importantly, I just want to repeat here, May 2023, Admissions are open with us for officer students with confirmed seats in a GTA college for one year and two year program both Kindly contact us in Canada or in India. We will be happy to help you in that cases. So yes uh, You will be definitely have a chance if you want to come and study here There we have a chance of basically starting your education in May and we have got confirmed seats available uh, It's a, in a college in GTA where most of the students want to come and study so if you are somebody who wants to come and study in Canada, contact her, off, contact her office in India and Canada and we can help you. If you are onshore student and looking for college admission for January 2023 and May 2023 intake, contact us in our office in Canada. We can help you securing admission in one year PG program, two year PG program, or one year post secondary or a two year post secondary program. So whatever sort of program you are looking at, we have got seats available for January 2023 and May 2023 both so you can contact us and we will be happy to help you in that regard so we to answer a question employer job of a foreign worker okay yes uh, we have seen a trend of this stream being opening up and people being invited to this stream not pretty confident that we'll be having any draw in 2022 now maybe the draw happened in 2024 23 now because 2022 i think most of the problems have already reached their quota of inviting people through the different programs they have so now the chances are maybe under this stream the people will be invited in 2023 that's my exemption i may be wrong you may see a draw coming up but as this is what i can see as of now they might have reached their quota as of now and no further draw might be invited under the stream for at least 2022 again if you have still any question i'll be just wrapping up this session now if you have any question, you can contact us. Our office is based in Brampton, Ontario. My name is Vishal Manocha. I'm the owner and director at Networth Immigration Solutions. You can contact us for any of your immigration need, either looking for a study permit, work permit, spousal applications, spousal PR applications, spousal work permit, citizenship, or college admissions. Whatever is your goal or whatever type of application you want to process, we can definitely help you. Our success rate is more than 97% in all of the categories we are representing our client and which is definitely a very, very good success rate. So that's all about in this show. We will be again joining up next Friday. But as I told you at the beginning of the show, the next timing, next Friday, the timing will change for clients back home in India. In Canada, the time will remain the same at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But in India, it will become 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we will be changing up the clock on this Sunday, which is on 6th of November. So thank you all the viewers for joining to this show. We will have, we had a great session, great question being asked, and I think I've answered most of them. If you still have any question, or if you have any concern, you can contact us through our social media page, through website, through phone, through WhatsApp, whatever is convenient to you, and we will be happy to revert back to your queries. So thank you all for joining into this session. We will see you live next Friday, 11 a.m. Till then, goodbye. Have a great weekend and a next great week. Thank you. Bye-bye.